Hey, Super Bowl fans, this is actually a really fun video I get to do. We are here in the NFL Experience. The NFL Experience is a giant convention, all types of different things for people to do. Behind me is actually the Vince Lombardi Trophy. It just got delivered by Jerry Rice, and there's another video where it shows the whole delivery. We'll give you a sneak peek here, though. And it's just a lot of stuff to do. So we're going to go around, look at all the different stations, look at all the different stuff you get to do here and experience as a fan. So stick with us as we do all this different stuff. So as you guys can see here, there is a ton of stuff to do at the NFL Experience. There's the Vince Lombardi Trophy, which is right behind me. You can get in line and actually stand next to, get your picture taken with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. You also can see on this giant map all kinds of different things. There's a huge NFL shop. There is all types of different games and different things sponsored by all kinds of people. There's a huge food area. So ton of stuff to experience here at the NFL Experience. Uh, so we're going to go walk around. We're going to go see all the different things that there are, find out what we can see, and uh, we'll show you everything as we're on our way. So stick with us here as we go explore and see what we can find here at the NFL Super Bowl experience. First one up on our list here is the NFL locker room. So we get to go through this fun tunnel for the NFL locker room. Oh, that's kind of impressive, all the different video there on the side. So basically in the locker room, what's fun is you get to see different players' gear as if they were in their locker room. So here's Dak Prescott's stuff. And there's different team players too. Saquon Barkley, Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, all types of different players with all types of different gear. They've got their jerseys, their helmet, apparently their, uh, their personal care kit. Cleats are there on the bottom, so all kinds of different things to see inside the NFL locker room area here. What's really cool though over here, they have a helmet wall, which we're going to walk over to here. There it is. They have a helmet wall, and it's got all the NFL helmets on it, all nice and sparkly, ready for pictures. It almost looks like it's like a gloss finish on it, not like a traditional helmet. Something more for show, you know, make it a good picture. But that is kind of cool. It's like a whole wall here. We'll get a little closer so you can see what I'm talking about with the helmets. But here it is. So you see they're kind of, there's the Green Bay helmet. It's like a metallic on it. And there's the, there's the Minnesota Vikings one. So very cool design, very cool to see, but um, you know, more decorative than, than actual. Other than that, it's really just kind of displays different equipment, all the different players and stuff like that. So looks like Miles Garrett is representing Cleveland over there. Uh, yeah, here's more of the helmets that you can see. So locker room is really kind of fun. Just a basic, uh, basic come and see different equipment, get to see one maybe your favorite player from your team, the helmet wall, and just get to experience the NFL equipment in the locker room. So behind me here actually is a full-length football field that they've put into the NFL experience, and they have different drills and different things that the kids can do. Uh, this is part of their play 60 and play football movement that they're doing. So they've got different guys out there doing a little bit of coaching, a little bit of kind of techniques with the kids, and letting them run out there and run the drills. It looks like there's some different agility drills, uh, some passing drills, all kinds of stuff there. Um, so this is really kind of fun. There's a grandstand over there if your kid is playing. You can go sit in the stands. They have flags of all the NFL teams on the wall over there. So it's just a, a nice space for kids to be able to interact, get to play on the field, get to say, hey, I've got to you know, throw football here on the field at the NFL experience. So it's just a fun little thing for the kids. For all my football fans out there and all my gamer football fans out there, they set up a whole Madden NFL 24 section here. They have the Madden Cruiser there in the back, and they've got all these TVs set up with game stations to be able to play Madden NFL 24. So you can get in line, you can set up and play some random person, or if you're here in a group, you guys can play together uh, and be able to try the new Madden 24. It's actually a pretty cool uh, little setup here. They've just got all these different TVs, and you just set up a game system just like you would play Madden anywhere else. 
You may be a football fan, but you also may like other sports. They have set up here some pickleball courts if you want to try your hand and play some pickleball. And on the other side here, they have also set up some cornhole boards. So you can sit here and play cornhole at the NFL Experience. So we showed you earlier in Radio Row, Toyota being a huge automotive sponsor for the Super Bowl, and they had a truck that they were decked out in Super Bowl gear there. We actually have a Grand Highlander decked out over here that they're showing off. Unfortunately, it's not a giveaway. You can't win this Super Bowl-themed Grand Highlander, but if you are curious about the car, have questions, Toyota does have reps here that are answering those questions. Similar if you were at the auto show, basically. You get to sit in it, you get to kind of view it, but it is not something, this one particularly is not something that you can give away. But I just thought it was really cool when you look at the Highlander here, and it's just got the wrap on it and the Super Bowl logo right on the hood of the car. It just really came out to be looking like a cool, uh, a cool car here. I'm gonna come around to the side. You can kind of see the wrapping on the side here too. So very impressive uh, to see them how they wrapped it. Unfortunately, it is not something you can win, but still really fun to look at. So I keep stressing how there's so many different interactive things for you to do here at the Experience event. We showed you the pickleball and the cornhole. Over here actually though is fun because it's a FedEx Air Challenge. So the FedEx Air Challenge, you stand back here on your marker and you have to throw down the field and try to hit the three different targets in front of you. So kind of a fun, unique way. This is something even adults or kids can try and do and try to hit those targets at the end there. So not only did FedEx sponsor the uh, Lombardi Trophy, they're also sponsoring a fun air challenge here at the NFL Experience. Now we showed you the FedEx Air Challenge. Come to the other side of that wall is the FedEx Ground Challenge. So again, similar concept, you get to be doing football moves in a challenge form. So you get handed the ball off like you're a running back. You're gonna go through the pylons and get hit like you're running through the offensive line. There's some things that you need to jump here in the middle and then you finish by going into the pads here. And oh, here's somebody now. They're gonna run through and then Boom, they jump through for the touchdown onto the pads. So again, just one more thing to highlight as far as the interactiveness goes of this event. It's not just looking at stuff in cases like a museum. There's so much interactive things to do, so many things for you to try, whether you're a little kid or a full-grown adult. Do the FedEx Air Challenge, come over, do the FedEx Ground Challenge, and see how you fare as a quarterback or a running back. What good is an NFL experience without having Nickelodeon involved? As you know, Nickelodeon's gotten a lot more involved. They do the slime time games now, and they're kind of trying to build up that interest with kids instead of just the normal ways that Nickelodeon goes. And they have actually set up a whole section over here strictly for kids to play around with and have some fun all Nickelodeon themed stuff. So as you see here, they've got different inflatables for you to run through and jump on. They have a Krabby Patty bounce house over there in the back and they have an actual obstacle course with plankton over there. And Gary is even involved. Gary the snail is goalposts. So all kinds of different fun things. There's a ball throw challenge here with SpongeBob. Just so, it's, it's mind blowing. All these giant inflatables of Nickelodeon and growing up being a SpongeBob fan, you know, even for the adult, it's still kind of fun to see all the kids stuff here with SpongeBob. So even if you have a small kid, there's still something for them to do here at the NFL Experience. This is something really unique here at the Experience. They actually have a simulated NFL draft. So you get to wait in line there on the side, you pick your team and who's drafting you, they give you a jersey to hold up and it's just like the real NFL draft where they call your name out, tell you where you're from, and then announce your position in your team and then they get a picture of you up there on stage holding the jersey just as if you were getting drafted. So it looks like the next one getting drafted here is a Pittsburgh Steeler, which I don't know if I want to highlight, but we're, we're going to show. So take a look. Of Pittsburgh, I need you guys to make some noise. We're landing, cracking it in! Yes! And look at the trip, ladies and gentlemen. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Look at this, look at this. So super fun experience, super unique experience to do. How many people get to get that picture holding the jersey like they were being drafted? So just one more thing to add to the list of the unique, unbelievable things you get to do here at the NFL experience. So just like getting to experience the NFL draft as a player, 
This one over here allows you to be a reporter. This is NFL Total Access. They've set up a whole booth here. You get to go up on stage, sit down, they record you, they give you on the teleprompter what to read, and you get to be an actual reporter for NFL Total Access. So maybe getting drafted wasn't your thing, or maybe it was super fun to do, and now you also get to experience how it is to be a reporter with NFL Total Access. So we all know the classic halftime game that you see played all over at NFL games, college games, you name it, where somebody actually has to try and kick a field goal and then normally ends up missing and everybody gets a good laugh out of it. So here at the NFL Experience, you actually get to be that person for once and try your luck at kicking a field goal. They have two different levels here for you to choose from, so if you're smaller, you can use the upper line here, but it's everything that you would think. They have a real NFL goal post set up, throw up your ball there and try your luck to see if you're good enough to put your money where your mouth is and hit the kick. Now the kicker, kicker here is, if you can't hit it, you don't get to laugh at the person on the field anymore when they do the challenge. You hit it, then you get to laugh. So it's kind of put your money where your mouth is and see if you can live up to the hype and kick the field goal. And here's one now. Oh, and that was not even, not even close at all. Oh, see one more. Let's see if, let's see if he'll make it. He shanks it left, but at least he got airborne on it. So uh, just one more uh, thing to do here at the NFL Experience and try your luck at being a field goal kicker. So over here, we're actually getting into activities you would do at the NFL Combine. They have a bench press station set up and they're counting how many bench presses that you're gonna be able to do. Then you come over here and they have the vertical jump station as well. And this guy's about to do the jump, so you'll see exactly. There it is, you get to see how tall uh, somebody can jump. These are things that are done at the NFL Combine, so you get to test your skills and see if you're good enough as a rookie to get into the NFL. Now over here to my left is actually a really special booth. It's not an interactive one, it's not a game that you can play, but Wilson, the makers of the football for the NFL, actually set up a booth here and demonstrate how they make a football. So they've got a whole setup here. They've got the machines to show you. They've even got some tester stuff where you can try your own luck on it. But they have the steamers, the whole nine yards, and they're showing you live demonstrations of how they make the NFL football. So this is something pretty fun and unique if you haven't seen it. Being in Ohio, I've actually been to the Wilson facility. It's in Ada, Ohio. Uh, they do tours, so if you are somewhere in the Midwest region or just somebody who really wants to learn how it's made, you can always go to the factory and try it. But this is kind of a great way to learn how they make it, see the process and action of a real NFL football being made. They also have some display cases explaining, you know, the sewing and how they do it, different uh, leather works that they've done with Wilson footballs on them, just all kinds of different things for you to look at. And then, of course, they do have a gift shop here be, uh, on the other side where you can buy your very own Wilson football. They've got all kinds of different Wilson merchandise here for the Super Bowl. So definitely a bunch of different things for you to see. They've even got this really cool one here. It's 250 bucks, but it's a Kansas City or a San Francisco 49er themed Wilson football. So those are really cool Super Bowl exclusives, but it is $250. So I mean, if you've got the money, by all means, get it. But I don't know about you, but uh, 250 bucks for a football is a little steep for me. But then you come into some of the other ones here that they have. This one's actually really cool. It's got all different Super Bowl logos on it from all the past Super Bowls and then where they were held and you know the date that they were held. So this is a really cool one to get. I'm not sure how much this one is off the top. I don't see a price tag here, but um, still that one's a really cool one to see too. And then they have some other themed ones over there that are like the red and blue colored. And then they even have team themed ones over here. So you can look through the bin and find your team there. I see a Dolphins, a Ravens, uh, looks like there's a Rams over here. And then they have these minier youth size balls as well. So basically Wilson's got a ton of different stuff, whether it's an individual football for your team, Super Bowl themed team, they have a ton of different stuff for you to get. And they have official footballs from all the different Super Bowls on display here in the back. So if you're a big fan of the Super Bowl, every year that they've made a Super Bowl ball, they keep it here on display. So like there's uh, Super Bowl 12 that was in Los Angeles, Miami versus the Redskins. 
So super cool things here. Super impressive to see all the different things Wilson has. This is actually a really big booth, guys, for it being, uh, you know, for the Wilson stand. But not everything has to be interactive to be cool, to be something that you want to do, but still something to see and do a little shopping. Why not? Now, for all you adult football fans out there, it really wouldn't be a football game if you didn't see a sponsorship for Bud Light. So yes, here at the NFL Experience, they have a Bud Light bar set up where you can get your very own Super Bowl themed Bud Light here at the NFL Experience. Although just like at a game, you're definitely paying the price for it. A 16 ounce beer is $17 and a 12 ounce beer is $13. So you can get your game day Bud Light and don't feel like you're missing out from your stadium because it's still ridiculously priced for a beer here as well. So one more thing that is really cool to add to the day here at the NFL Experience, and that is behind me is an autograph stage. Of course, with every NFL Experience, they're going to have an autograph stage. They're rotating players in all afternoon. There's a list online you can see specifically who's up. Right now, they're just getting ready to rotate. But you basically just go up there, over there on my right shoulder, go up, and then you can catch them there. They got a DJ in the front, get it hyped while you're there. but. Something else to do, something else to get a player autograph. Everybody likes getting some autograph. So go over to that Wilson stand, buy yourself a football, get in line over here at the autograph, and get you a couple of player autographs for that brand new Wilson football. So one more awesome thing to add to the list of the NFL experience. Okay, so I walked around the corner, and this is really funny, actually. Um, you know, I mentioned go over to that Wilson stand and get your thing, and they kind of had the same thought. They beat me to the punch. Wilson actually has a mini stand set up right here where they're selling footballs that you can do the autograph for. So you don't even have to go over to the Wilson stand. They got you covered. They've got a stand right here where they are selling footballs that are ready for autographs, so you don't have to go back. Um, looks like they got a couple of different options here. They have ball stands. They have a fish printed one they have an autographed football and they're, they're about 60 70 dollars and then of course that really expensive themed one for 250 so don't you worry they already got you covered one more way to get that money so the video would not be complete without going through the gift shop so we're in the giant NFL shop over here and they have a ton of different merch to choose from and to look at all kinds of different things we're gonna roll up on just a couple of different options here kind of show you excuse me here but they have different Super Bowl shirts either generic logoed or ones with both teams on them but then they have specific team merch too so they have an actual uh, Chiefs one over here there's another Chiefs one over here so different t-shirts and stuff oh here's a Spongebob Kansas City Chief one looks like they also got sweatshirts they've got polos I mean you know, they're not going to miss a beat when it comes to merchandise here. Here's like more of an athletic shirt style shirt. Winter hats. I mean, this gift shop is huge, guys. I'm not kidding. It is absolutely huge. And come down here too. There's even more stuff. Oh, they've got shirts with the uh, AFC, NFC logos on them. So instead of doing a... Uh, you know, a team on it, you can rep your your conference. Oh, and they have other team stuff too, so here's just generic blacked out merch. That's a Commanders and a Giants, in case you can't see. I know it's a little dark for the video. Las Vegas coats with the Super Bowl logos on them. I mean, the amount of merch here just is absolutely insane. Oh, but over here is what's becoming rapidly very popular, are the giant oversized hats. So we're going to make our way over there here and look at the different, yep, they've got Chiefs and 49ers. You can get a giant oversized hat. So these are becoming really, really popular. It's kind of, they're fun to see. Everybody likes wearing those. But yeah, so that, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, this thing is huge. There's a ton of stuff to do. Uh, I'm looking at some of the different merch here. There's still like Letterman's jackets. Here's their novelty section. They've looks like they've got footballs, they've got tumblers, they've got artwork in the back, pins. Oh, here's some Usher stuff too. In case you're not looking for a team, but you're looking for Usher because they used to in the halftime show. Oh, and that's really cool. So the floor has like actual memorabilia of Usher in it. All access passes. 
jackets. There's a hat over there. This thing's a little weird to walk on, not gonna lie. But you can get even more Super Bowl logo stuff and this stuff than is repped for Usher here at the halftime show. And then it looks like we're getting over to hats. They have about a million and a half hats to choose from too. You guys saw, obviously I already got my hat when I was at Allegiant Stadium on Monday. Well, that's a cool hoodie too. Free limited edition Super Bowl patch with the purchase of a hat. So there you go too. If you buy the hat, you get a free patch on top of it. So that's pretty cool. And then here's the main entrance. Nike's got its section over here. All the lit up footballs. And then we'll go inside here. Here's different jerseys and stuff. Again, it's the Nike section when Nike makes their jerseys. So they got 49ers jerseys over here, Chiefs jerseys over here. And this one's kind of a unique option too. You can get a generic 58 jersey that is just for Super Bowl 58. So in case you don't want to rep a team or your team like mine is not in the Super Bowl, uh, you can actually get a generic jersey for Super Bowl 58 as well. Oh, it looks like they even have the sweatshirts that the players are wearing on opening night the gray with the uh, double patches on them. So you can even wear just like the players were wearing on opening night, get that sweatshirt from them too. So I'm gonna roll out of here. I think that's it, but let's roll and see if there's anything more we can find. Nope, and that would be the entrance here. So that's pretty much the whole gift shop. We kind of went in reverse because the exit was easier to get to. So at least this way we got to go through uh, the entire shop. Oh, and here's the entrance. Get a little farther back so you can see it. So that's pretty awesome. That shop, that shop was really kind of big, but it had a lot of different stuff on it, a lot of different Super Bowl merch. So at least you get a, a fair selection of stuff. There, there's no shortage of uh, no shortage of merchandise here. So as you guys can see, the NFL experience really does have so many things to offer and so many things to do, whether it's getting interactive and doing some of these different challenges, whether it was that Play 60 or the SpongeBob inflatables at the Nickelodeon section, the giant team shop to get all of your merch, or go see the Lombardi Trophy up front. There is just absolutely so much to do here. You could be here for hours and still not get through everything. So definitely remember next year in New Orleans, if you guys are gonna come down to the Super Bowl, Come down to the NFL experience, spend the day here because there's just absolutely a million things to try and then you get to celebrate your own fandom here for the NFL. As always, remember to click the subscribe button down there and hit that bell icon so you get all the notifications for all the different stuff that we're doing. Make sure to check out the other new video we just posted about the Lombardi Trophy unveiling with Jerry Rice. Uh, that one's going to be up on its own video as well. So make sure to check out those. We've still got all the coverage from opening night and there's still more stuff to come this week. So hitting that bell icon just keeps you up to date with everything and make sure that you don't miss any of the content here during the week of the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 58 here in Las Vegas. So thanks guys and we'll see you here next time.